Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I am doing another misunderstood movie review today and the movie that I have chosen is 2011's Paul. Um, and the reason I've chosen this is kind of an odd one this because from anybody that has actually seen this movie um, it isn't regarded as a bad movie. In fact it's quite the opposite. It's regarded as a really very good movie by a lot of people. The problem is with this movie there's not enough people have seen it. Every time I ever say to, say to somebody, have you seen Paul with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost? Oh no, what's that? I've never heard of that. And he try and I explain it to them and like, oh no, I'll we'll have to have a look for that one. I'll have to see it. I'll have to watch that one. Um, it's it happens constantly in my life, and this is one of my favourite movies. I absolutely love and adore this movie. Um, and to put this in perspective, you saw at the beginning there, um, this wasn't really what you would, could consider a flop at the cinema. It, it had a budget of £40 million and it made just close to £100 million worldwide. Um, so it more than made its money back. Um, I just it, I scratched my head as to how this wasn't a much bigger hit than it was. And when you put it into perspective, everybody goes on about the Cornetto trilogy that Simon Pegg and Nick Frost starred in, which was Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz and The World's End. All of them great movies, don't get me wrong. However, just to take into consideration, Shaun of the Dead made, Shaun of the Dead made 30 million worldwide. Hot Fuzz made 80 million worldwide. And The World's End made 46 million worldwide. Every single one of those movies made less than this movie, yet no one talks about this movie. They all go on about the Cornetto trilogy as to a work of geniuses that they are. And don't get me wrong, the brilliant films, I really enjoy all of them. But out of all, out of the Simon Pegg, Nick Frost movies, and I know Edgar Wright didn't direct this, this is my favourite, Paul. Out of all the, the, those movies that I've just mentioned, this is the standout movie of those for me. So if you've never seen Paul, you really, really must. Um but really as well just get a load of this cast you've got Simon Pegg obviously and Nick Frost Jeffrey Tambor Jane Lynch uh, Seth Rogen does the voice of Paul Jason Bateman Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig now if that cast list was ruled out on a, on a film these days a lot of eyebrows would be raised but because it was 2011 when most of these were on the cusp of really massively breaking through um, it wasn't seen as a great cast list there and there's, there's a couple of cast list people in there that I haven't mentioned because I don't want to spoil it because they really are a treat if you've never seen the movie now for those that you don't know this film essentially is about these two guys, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, uh, Graham and Clive, they're from the UK, they've gone to America to Comic Con, and then the the, the like UFO um, fanatics, and they're taking a tour in um, a Winnebago around all the UFO sites in America, uh, Area 51, all that kind of stuff. Um, and on the way, early on in the movie, they witness um, a crash on the highway. They stop to help, but it actually turns out that um, it was actually Paul driving the car. And he can't drive, really, but it's Paul, an alien, and they come across. Um, which, as you can imagine, is quite a surprise for them. Now, the twist here is that Paul, who's voiced by Seth Rogen, is really quite grumpy, um, funny. Um, and essentially he needs their help to get him somewhere safe. He's been on Earth for several decades and he thought he was a guest but actually it turns out that he's a prisoner which he actually says in the movie himself and he needs their help to get home. He's got a meeting point arranged which again is another treat when you see that in the movie. That's the, This film is packed full of little treats sci-fi treats um, little cameos little nods to sci-fi movies it's just it's, a del it's wonderfully written which was written by um, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost by the way um, and along the way they end up picking up Kristen Wiig who's like from this really religious um, family who really struggles to accept the fact that you know aliens are now real 
uh, but you've also got the FBI chasing them. Uh, Bill Hader and his partner and Jason Bateman who um, is chasing them too. So they've got to get from where they are to like a long way off to get him to the meeting point safe. But along the way they're getting loads of escapades, uh, loads of shenanigans, loads of funny situations. And this film essentially is not only hilarious but it's got a real, real heart at the centre of it. It's really as it's a really, really nice, heartwarming movie. But at the same time, it is really seriously laugh out loud too. I'd say this is probably one of my favourite comedies of the certainly the last decade. Easily, this movie. I've got it in my collection, and it's one that I I can watch once every couple of months. And also, just to mention, if you do see, if you get it on the Blu-ray as well, it might be on the DVD too. There's a fantastic documentary with it as well, the making of, um, which basically tells the story of how the movie came to be. And they actually, while they were writing the movie, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost went on an actual road trip across America in a Winnebago, and many of the adventures that they got into, or many of the things that happened to them, they've included into the movie. Obviously not meeting an alien is one of them, but some of the other stuff that you see in the movie actually happened. And they talk about that on the documentary. And it actually shows them because they filmed the whole trip in the Winnebago. And they show you loads of that as well. So it's a really fantastic um, extra that you get with the Blu-ray too. That just enriches the movie even more. I really, really do implore you who've never ever seen Paul. You must watch it. Especially if you're a fan of the Cornetto trilogy and you like the Hot Fours and the Shaun of the Dead and the World's End and the films that Simon Pegg and Nick Frost have done together previously, you will love this. It's really well directed. I like to say, I know it's not Edgar Wright, but the director who they got for this and just is Greg Matola, who directed things like Superbad and stuff. So he's got a real pedigree for comedy. Um, he directed this really, really well. Um, the effects for Paul are standout. Seth Rogen is perfect as the voice of Paul. Brilliant performance by him. Very, very funny. And you simply must watch Paul.